Hey, welcome to the big promo cast, take three. Uh, on this show, we highlight brands that use custom merch for marketing and promotions, hoping to give our audience some ideas to use for their own campaigns. We'd love it if you'd leave us a review on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, or wherever you get your podcasts, or leave a comment in the video below. I'm going to talk about a, a recent political movement, one of our favorite brands is involved with, an unusual condiment collab, uh, some updates on some previous shows, stories that we've done, and maybe a holiday story, maybe not. Mm. Well, I'm going to talk about how Burger King is upsetting the gaming community. Cool. Uh, MasterCard's efforts to highlight black women-owned businesses. Okay. And an important aspect of social media marketing. Okay, let's go. Welcome to the Big Promo Cast with Amber and Rich. In this podcast, Amber and Rich discuss the world of marketing, branding, and promotional products. Now, here's Amber and Rich. Rich. Welcome to the special Wednesday edition of the show. We're uh, <laughs> recording this on Wednesday instead of live on Thursday because things are going on on Thursday. We can't make it. So here we are. Uh, how's everything going over there? Not too shabby. Did you get any trick-or-treaters? No. Did you give away any potatoes? No. <laughs> uh, one of our, <laughs> I found this, the trick or potato thing <clears throat> is becoming a, a, a trend. One guy started doing it in 2017, giving away potatoes instead of candy. And anyway, that was kind of funny. Interesting. Yeah. <laughs> no trick or treaters, huh? No, our neighborhood really doesn't do trick or treaters. Hmm. Um, they, they've got a bunch of like, trunk or treat and festival stuff that goes on all throughout the neighborhood. So yeah. people usually go to those things. I see. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But yesterday was November 1st. What happens November 1st? NaNoWriMo. Oh, that's right. Cool. <laughs> so. 1667. Yes. It's supposed to be 1667 words a day. And yesterday I got 1,711 words. Okay. And this morning I did 2,350 words. Wow. Yeah. In an hour and a half. So they count things like a and the and and. Well, yeah, as words? of course. Yeah. I remember when I was in typing classes in the 80s, 100 years ago, I think they counted five spaces as a word. Wow. So if it was the word quiet, it was a word. And if it was a, it was a word. Or if it was Theodore, it was a word. I don't remember how it worked. Anyway, it was weird the way they worked it out. But anyway. Well, I, so what does not count no. is when I, like, I'll type a sentence and then I'll change my mind. So I backspace that entire sentence and write a new sentence. Nope. The words I backspace don't count. Yeah. You got to keep that going. Yeah. You got to use that most dangerous app thing. I told you. If you stop typing, everything disappears. I, no. That, that is... <laughs> Sounds so anxiety provoking. <laughs> Do you want to start this escapade or uh, should I? I'll start. All right. All right. So Burger King mm-hmm. is teaming up with Call of Duty for the release of Modern Warfare 2. Okay. okay. So they are offering all kinds of rewards. Um, Burger King has released a... Um, it's called a call of duty whopper meal yeah so if you purchase that meal then you have the opportunity to get some um extra points it's double experience points okay um for like an hour time period of gameplay okay and then you can also get the burger town which is call of duty's like knockoff burger king yeah um the burger town skin for Call of Duty. Wow. Okay. Now, here's where it gets fun. Okay. This international campaign mm-hmm. is not available in every country. Oh, no. It's not even available in the U.S. Oh, weird. Yeah. <clears throat> so, a lot of people are really pissed off about this. People that are really into Call of Duty that want to yeah. wear the special th- outfit? Oh, hmm. yeah. Oh, well. So... Find other things that are pretty worried about, man. That's well, crazy. Fair enough. <laughs> but I mean, know your audience, people. There, there are. Call of Duty is a huge thing in this country. Like Maybe it's a licensing thing. Yeah. Maybe it's a legal thing. Hmm. I don't know. Do you want to play this I, video? I don't know either. Um. Sure. Is it long? 
it's not super long. <laughs> Listen up, team. We need to get that meal before anyone else. It's time. Let's move. Burger 6, going dark. Security systems offline. Go now. Give me one second. Let's go. Let's go. Hey, leave no evidence. There's nothing. That's funny. Yeah. Wait. Hey. It smells like barbecue. Check your corners. <sighs> Here it is. Good, Good job. job. Now, now bring, bring it home. home. Buy the Modern, Modern Warfare, Warfare 2 meal at Burger King, King and get a free in-game, in-game operator, operator skin and one hour of double, double XP. XP. <sighs> so, there you have it. So, if so, what countries do they have? Have it in. I mean, is it all every other world but, but the U.S.? No, no. They, um, I know they have it in uh, some South America countries. They've got it in France. I hmm. think they, they they have it in the U.K. You notice? Uh, I don't know if you noticed, but there's nobody actually speaking English. You don't see anybody mouthing the words, mm-hmm. so they can do it in all kinds of languages without yep. having to adapt. That's yep. awesome. Well, good, good for them. Yeah, and if you can't get in the U.S., just find something else to do, y'all. Well, and <laughs> go play Fortnite. I don't know. So, well, <laughs> <laughs> Why is that funny? <laughs> because, like, I know plenty of people who oh. would shame you for that. How <laughs> oh, dare well, you? Whatever. Um, but like, there are people who are selling their skins. Oh, really? So, yeah, and they're so you can still use it in the U.S. Money. if you can find one. Yeah. Is it like a software yeah. thing you upload to your like a yeah. plugin on Chrome? Oh, yeah. Interesting. Okay. Um, and they're they're potentially going to make it into downloadable content yeah. for like the company itself. Right. Do downloadable content for it. So isn't that wild? I don't know. We'll see what it's happens. It's a new th- that's a new thing for merch is that you do some digital stuff. It's kind of I, don't know, I think it's awesome. Well, is it awesome? I think it's kind of weird, but I mean it's fine. Oops, sorry. Don't play that. Um, I'm going to talk about. Are we done with that? Yeah, that's it. Our buddies at Liquid Death. They are. <laughs> you pay attention to politics a little bit, don't you? Yes. You know about Georgia, right? You can't get people water in line at Georgia. Oh, yeah. Here's what Liquid Death did. And now a message from Liquid Death Mountain Water. Do you live in Georgia? Do you have to drink water to stay alive? Do you want to participate in democracy? Too bad! Because thanks to new laws in the great state of Georgia, it's now illegal to give people water within 150 feet of a polling place. But that's not all. Election officials have also closed many polling places so lines can now last three, four, even up to eight hours long. But remember, no giving out water. In fact, helping people murder their thirst in line is so illegal, it's now punishable by up to a year in prison. Wow! But now there's a solution. Introducing the Georgia Election Hydration Kit. Each fanny pack comes with a can of liquid death mountain water, so you don't have to die while trying to exercise your constitutionally protected right to vote. Get yours today for just $1 for all Georgia residents at liquiddeath.com slash vote. Then show up and vote. Need help? No matter where you live, you can make your election day game plan at headcount.org slash liquiddeath. So order your Georgia Election Hydration Kit today for just $1 and enjoy the refreshing taste of democracy today. Anyway, it's That's sold awesome. It's sold out by now, but you saw in the ad, it said, seriously, Georgia residents only. Oh, yeah. <laughs> for a dollar. That oh, was a crack up. Anyway, I'm a big fan of liquid debt. That's pretty awesome. And get out the vote. People, yeah, I have a friend in Georgia who is running for Senate, and so Who's yeah, your if it, if not, it was well, it's like, not Herschel Walker, that other guy, no, Raphael Warnock. No, 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 oh, that's too bad. His name is Chase Oliver. He has actually, he was, was on the debate. And oh, everything. no kidding, yeah, cool. He's running as libertarian, yeah, that sucks that libertarians or third parties at all just don't have a shot, yeah, it's un- unfortunate, but. I mean, independents kind of have a shot, but not. There's too much money. Yeah. Oh, yeah. There's too much money involved. Anyway. Whatever. That's cool. Anyway, Liquid Death. I'm going to check this off my list. 
What else you got? Black Panther, Wakanda Forever. Okay. Um, is coming to theaters November 11th. Okay. And MasterCard is taking this time to spotlight some black women-owned small businesses. Okay. And um, so they actually have a 30-second video of, her name is Egypt Otis. Okay. She is the owner of Comma Bookstore and Social Hub. Okay. Um, and they're, they're featuring her basically as a superhero in this video. Okay, let's play it. Superheroes run our small businesses, and MasterCard tools help extend their reach far beyond the storefront. Because when you see the superhero you can be, that's priceless. Well, that was a short video. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, Pretty cool. But this actually follows MasterCard did a pledge in 2020 to invest $500 million into black communities between 2020 and 2025. Okay. Um, so I don't know if you know this or not, but black owned businesses are more often than not blocked from funding. No kidding. Yeah. So that's why MasterCard is getting their hand in the game and helping people out. They are trying to close the racial wealth and opportunity gap for black communities across America. Listen, the world, everybody's money is just as green as everybody else's. Yes. Come on, y'all. Yep. That's the only color that matters. <laughs> that's my new thing, green. <laughs> Actually not. That's not the only color that matters, but I'm just saying. Let's, boy, let's get yeah. me canceled in the quick heartbeat. That's not what I meant. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, no good. Yeah, but MasterCard well, good out there doing good. That's cool. All right. Uh, my next thing is Craft Real Mayo. Okay. Which is mayonnaise, right? Mm-hmm. Is doing a collab with Juicy Couture. Oh, God, this is scary. <laughs> I don't know. It's pretty cool. I don't know. It's smooth and velvety. Let's say that. <laughs> it's, it's available for pre-order. But here's what you do. is You go to pre-order it, and you can only buy the whole ensemble. The jacket, the pants, the shirt, and the wrapper for your jar. <laughs> you d- they don't have 4X, thank goodness. Or I'd be all <laughs> over it. 162 bucks. Holy cow. Anyway, what do you think of that? So that, wow. Like, I'm not sure I have <laughs> words for that. Come on, man. Uh, I think it's funny. Stuff written across your ass. I think it's fun to see that, but I don't know. It's weird. Wait till we get to our last one. It's fine. <laughs> oh. I've got something really fun for you. <laughs> well, yeah, I, I don't know. That's too much for me. The okay. Sparkle crap everywhere. No. Oh, really? Uh, yeah. Well, it's like it's like velvet. Is it velvet? Well, yeah. So it's like, I mean, I guess it's velvet type. Velvety material. smooth. Yeah. Velvet yeah. rhinestones. I don't know. It might be comfortable. It might be I, good for laying around on a Sunday. I can't get down with rhinestones. Okay. I <laughs> know. Oh, that's not your thing. It's not everybody's thing. What's next, kiddo? All right. Um, so people are starting to realize what kind of effects social media is having on us. <laughs> Just now? Uh, yeah, apparently. Yeah, that's funny. <laughs> um, so according to a study done by a UK nonprofit called the Cyber Smile Foundation, mm-hmm. 89% of participants who were 16 to 24 years of age feel that social media has a negative effect on their mental health. Okay. Surprise, surprise, everybody. Uh, Yeah, I can see that, though. Yeah. Uh, The U.S. is also doing studies like this, and they are getting the same kind of results. You know, you can probably twist those results around any way you want, though, depending on who you ask or who you – what the results you want to get, you might be able to – Fair enough. Formulate stuff. Um, I mean, I agree it's probably a problem. Yeah. As far as self image and self and self esteem mm-hmm. and stuff like that. But yeah. They, um, so some of the other information that they found was 85% say social media negatively affects the way a person, the way these participants feel about their body. Yeah. Uh, 51% say that their sleep is affected mm. by their time online. And then 86% 
say that social media use makes them feel anxious. You're not big on the social media, are you? Uh, not as much as I used to be. I mean, I used to be like addicted. Oh, really? Oh, yeah. I was hmm. all over Facebook constantly. Yeah. But now I'm like... I'm bored with it, man. I, <laughs> I spend more time on Twitter than I do Facebook, and I don't spend a lot of time on Twitter. Yeah. So... I spend a lot of time looking at my stats. Yeah. Want to see when the right time to post stuff is and stuff like that. Trying to generate eyeballs for the business, but I don't really care about other stuff. Yeah. Like part of it was the <clears throat> politics thing for me. Like I was, oh, yeah. when I was super involved in politics, I was all over social media trying to follow who to was turn, doing what. I turned all that crap off. It's just so much and yeah. so many reposts of the same stuff. Come on. Mm -hmm. I don't know. It's too much. I mean, I don't, I don't need to know all that stuff. So yeah. it's just, because like, nothing's going to change. So, well, and like Instagram, I do not care for Instagram. Yeah. I'm with you. And that's mostly because the types of posts that come up on my Instagram, mm -hmm. like suggested stuff or whatever is very like, I totally get the feeling of making you feel bad about yourself Isn't that crazy? because you know, they, they have all these, you know, Pretty models and these handsome guys that are laying around on the beach because they don't have to work because there are some Instagram star or whatever. I'm yeah, like, man, that's not real life, y'all. Not real life. No <laughs> kidding. Yeah, I, I was talking to my friend Keely, who's who's a big into Twitter, about how to curate your feed, and you can do a lot of ways to do it. Just the only things you turn on notifications are the things you really, really want to see, mm -hmm. and don't just look at your feed. Look at the notifications or make lists and only look at the lists. And then you mm. only have stuff that you are really genuinely interested in. I like it. Yeah. Instead of, because, and you can't really do that on IG, I don't think. Can you make lists on IG? I don't know. Yeah. Anyway, yeah, IG and Facebook are both horrendous. But I, since we have all these, like, I say kids, they're like young adults, I guess, mm -hmm. who are starting to feel like social media is something that's become a problem. Mm-hmm. I'm curious how that's going to affect marketing because a lot of marketing has started steering towards social media. You know what? And, and Apple turning off all that cookie stuff on the phones has changed a whole lot of stuff. Like yeah. Facebook stock is falling apart because it's can't market to people anymore on phones. It's, yeah. it's very interesting the way things are working out. So mm -hmm. anyway, remember we talked about Miller Lite beer ornaments a yes. while back? Yes, I do. This is a little video about it. It's two minutes, but it's still pretty cool. Oh, and we're going to get so hit with copyright stuff. But I'm still going to do it. Never this garbage. This Christmas. Miller Lite recently began offering drinkable Christmas ornaments. Christmas time is turning into Miller time. Yes. I, I, that is awesome. Uh, we scooped some people on that because I really got a kick out of that. Some interesting stats they showed in that video. Because, so if you're on the audio podcast, look at this when you can. I'm going to go in here and see if we can buy one today. Check back next uh, week on 8, 11, 8, 22. Nice. Hmm. So fi did it say 15,000 sold in 96 seconds? Yeah. yeah, isn't that cool? That is crazy. It's unbelievable. So Because usually I think, oh, they probably only made 500 because they yeah. sold that real fast. Mm -hmm. No, 15,000 is quite a bit. Yeah, it is. It's pretty cool. Anyway, that's all I have about that. And then uh, as far as other updates, I have one more update that includes an unboxing. Oh. You see this big boxing in front of us, right? Yes, I do. Our friends at the clam place. Remember the clam story we did? Yes. About clam and A's being sold out at Target? Yes. Well, they restocked. Oh. They also okay. reached out to me and said, hey, thanks so much for talking about clam on A's. We're going to send you a box. Really? They did. Awesome. You should see this box. It's the Cards Against Humanity clam bonus box. I'm pretty excited, Joe. <laughs> I knew you would be. <laughs> I knew you would be. Here, open this. Ooh. Is that a shirt? Oh, you know I love my shirt. Wait, hang on. Are we? I'm not even. I'm not, how do I show this? Oh, I can do. I can do this camera. Hang on. Hang, where's the back? Where is it? Oh, I need to do this thing. There it is. It's the big box. You see the camera up there, right? Yes, I do. So anyway. Let's see. Oh, 
This is a flam o nays, y'all. Here's, here's a hat that says creamy on it. Awesome. <laughs> Oops, where'd it go? Where's me solo? Here we go. Creamy on the hat. That's kind of cool. <laughs> the the tag on the shirt says, nothing is real, all is chaos, eat more clams. Say, say it again. <laughs> nothing is real, <laughs> all is chaos, eat more clams. Eat more clams. This is another, this is another tangy hat. Let me see. What else they sent me is this book. Oops, let me get back to both of us. There's the book. What is this uh, book? Clammy Dick by Herman Clanville. Hold up to the camera, hon. There you go. <laughs> it's a real live book full of, yeah. full of stuff. It's full of pages. And, oh, come on, computer. What the heck? I hit the wrong. I bet too much. There's too much junk over here. Wait, here's one more. Look at this box. This is the Clamps Against Humanity card set. Wow, clams this thing weighs a clamps humanity. <laughs> this weighs so much. It's full. I mean, I don't know how many cards are in here because in the jar you get thirty cards. Okay. In the jar, so this obviously is not in the jar. I don't know how many cards this is, but this is a huge set. Oh, a couple of bumper stickers, another T-shirt. Awesome. I'll give you a bumper sticker if you put it on your car. Hell yes, I'll put it on my car. Oh, shoot. I believe in <laughs> I believe in mayonnaise. I clam do anything. <laughs> Which one do you want? Awesome. Um You don't have to put it in your car. I'm kidding. Put it on your fridge I, at home though if you want. Let me try to try to get this one out. Oh, here we go. Here's a good one. <laughs> <laughs> Our last super bonus, cool bonus is shirt. Is church all the same? I think. Um, I'm opening this book. Oh, okay, cool. <clears throat> What's in the small box, Fritch? Something breakable that's not broken. Thank goodness. Oh goodness! It is a. It's a mug. <gasps> it says, "Don't talk to me till I've had my clamonades." <laughs> awesome. <laughs> Clever, huh? Yes. And if you ever wonder whether or not promotional products are worth their money, just think about how excited I just got over <laughs> all of this merch. It's cool. And it's a really, it's quality stuff. It's not just, yeah. I mean, that mug is heavy. I mean, it's a really, really heavy, I don't know, it's a heavy diner mug. It's really nice. All right. I'm sorry, y'all. I've got to open this book. Does it really have words on the pages or is I, it just I'm a notebook? Looking. It oh does have words on the whole story. <laughs> <laughs> it is a legit entire story, y'all. Who, whoever Herman Clamville is. Anyway. Yeah. Cool. Wow. How do you get a kick out of that? But anyway. Call me Ishmao. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm so excited about this. All right, cool. <laughs> Man, I wish this was live. We really got some <laughs> chuckles out of somebody. All right. I don't have anything else. Do you have any, oh, do you have any shout outs? Um, oh, shout out to the DFW Rhinos, which is the Dallas Fort Worth area um, Nano Rhino support group. <laughs> Man, are they getting any, any, any beef because they're calling themselves Rhinos? Because Rhinos is also a bad political thing. Not to my knowledge. You know what that means? No. It means Republican in name only. Ah. That's what they call Republicans that don't actually follow the gotcha. <laughs> the goofball. But anyway, gotcha. Well, yeah, I hope they do well because they're all about writing and not about Republicans. Yes, which is good. Uh, my shout outs to the clam people. Yes, <laughs> to the Cards Against Humanity clams, a clamps you clamity folks <laughs> for sending us that out. If you want us to talk about your stuff, hit us up. We'll talk about your stuff too. Uh, that's all I got. Um. If you are looking for this month's promo code, check right. out Gosh. the description. And it's a new month. Yes, it is a new month. She was. Okay. Good catch. Anything else? No, that's it. I want to hit this end button right now. All right. Bye. See you. Thanks. <laughs>